Welcome to RafflePress, the best WordPress giveaway plugin to grow your email list, website traffic, and social media followers with viral giveaways and contests. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a giveaway or contest to help grow your YouTube channel. To grab your copy of RafflePress, head over to rafflepress.com or click the link in the description below. You're going to click on Get RafflePress Now, select the account that makes the most sense for you. Once you have an account, you're going to log in and download it. There's a video in the description below to help you learn how to install RafflePress if you need help. Here I have a clean installation of WordPress and on the left hand side I have RafflePress installed already. I'm going to click on RafflePress and then add new. Here at the top it's going to ask for a giveaway name. You can click here and type that in. And at the bottom we can select a template. This is just to give you a little bit of a head start. And if we look here we actually have one for YouTube. It says grow your YouTube channel. And we're going to click on use this template. Here in the right hand side we can see a preview of what the giveaway will actually look like. We have the entries, total entries remaining, the title description, an image, some login, and the actions to take to actually enter the giveaway or contest. And here on the right, we can see the preview of the contest that we created. We can see the entries, we can see the time remaining. There's the title of the contest, the description. We have the image here. Here's a few ways to log in, as well as the ways to enter the actual contest itself. Because we clicked on the YouTube template, we have watch a video and visit a YouTube channel. We can add more actions in the future if we like. For now, let's go ahead and work on the details here on the left-hand side. We can see all the information here. You can also click on any of these on the right-hand side. So for example, if we wanna do the title, we can click here and it'll open up a little editor here that we can change the details. Great, here I put in a new name. We have a description. We can add some bolding, some italics. We can underline it, strike through, or add links. We have different alignments and you can add lists in here as well if you like. Next, we need to upload an image or select your own image here. So here I'm going to click on select image and this will open up your media library. So if you already have an image, you can select it here or you can upload a file by clicking here and select files. For me, I'm just going to drag a photo in here and drop it onto the screen. Great. Once that's completed, I'm going to click on choose image in the bottom right and we can see the image here and click on done editing. There we can see a preview of our giveaway that we've created so far. On the left hand side, we have to enter the start and end time. So we can go ahead and select a different date here, an end date if you want to do maybe a whole month or longer and then select your times as well. There's also a time zone here if you want to select this. Just to be safe, I'm going to click on save in the top right corner, and I'm going to go to the next tab here called actions. Now, this is where we get the watch a video or visit a YouTube channel here at the bottom, and we have more actions here on the left hand side. So for example, if I want something simple as joining an email newsletter, I can just click on this and it'll add it to the bottom of the list here. You can drag and drop and change the order here if you wish. To modify these, we can just click on one and it'll edit here on the left hand side. We can see a sidebar full of information. We can change the title here of what the action is, how many points they get. So if this action is considered to be more important, you could give them two up to five points. And these would be how many entries they would get into your giveaway. You can have it make it mandatory, allow daily entries, and then the URL here to the actual YouTube video. And right here, I'll post a URL of one of the raffle press videos. We can see that here. And then you can go down the list of the rest of the actions here. So here's the second one. You can change the options and to join an email newsletter. The only thing different about this is there's a trigger on sign up. You can make that mandatory, of course. There's a display and opt-in confirmation if you want to have them confirm their email. And you can select an integration here. So this is a third-party email marketing service. So if you want one of these to manage your email list, you could go ahead and do that and connect to that service and add your API key as well. Again, if you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save just to be careful. And on the left-hand side, we have the design options. Here we have the header text and image. We can change this to the image on top if we prefer. And we have the fonts that we can change. You can pick one of these that you prefer, whichever one you like. And we have the button color. This will be for the use your email button here. So I can click on this and I'll go with maybe a pink or purple just to match the colors that are going on here a little bit. We also have the page background. So you have two options here to add a color. There's a solid color or we can go with selecting a background image if you have a custom image already set. I'll select here and maybe something bright and colorful to match the picture again. Something like this or maybe a blue. I think that looks pretty good. If you know custom CSS, you can add your CSS down here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and come down to the settings. Here we have a lot of settings to go through so you can take your time. We have general settings. This is the giveaway name that we've already given it. We have the page permalink. You can give this a name, whatever makes sense for you. Now, this is the URL that you can actually share with people once we're completed. If you prefer, you can actually embed this contest or giveaway into any other WordPress page or post. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Here we have the display options to hide total entries and to show winners. You can limit signups per IP. If you want to support RafflePress, you can show a link on your contest or giveaway. And if you want to join our affiliate program, there's a link here to do that as well. Here we have the giveaway rules. You can post these here. There's a rules generator template here. 
I'll just type some text in here quickly, but you would fill these out properly and generate rules just so you can see it. This will create the rules for you. Make sure that you're following all of your local laws regarding giveaways. They may be different. And on the left hand side, we have automation. If you want to install and use Uncanny Automator, you can do that quick and easily here. And you can hook that up with RafflePress to do some pretty cool things. Here on the left hand side, we have email verification. We can click on this. So if you want them to confirm their email, you can turn this on. And here's all the information that you can set up. We also recommend that you install WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms to ensure that emails are being sent from WordPress and that they get delivered. On the left hand side, we have success tracking here. So you have onload scripts you can put in or conversion scripts if you need those. And same thing for success redirects. If you want to enable this, simply click and you can put in a URL in here of where you want to send that person after they've entered your contest. We also have social logins here. So if you want to use logging in with Facebook, you can turn this on. You just have to paste in a Facebook app ID here. And there's a link to show you how to get that app ID. We also have GDPR. If you need to be compliant, you can turn this on and paste the consent text in here. And we have a recapture. It's an invisible recapture. You can click to turn this on. You will need to get a site key. So you can click on learn how to get that here. Put in your site key and your secret key and you're good to go. And lastly, we have webhooks for advanced users. You can turn these on and you have a webhook here. You have the request URL, the format, and the headers with the parameters here. So if you know how to do this, you can hook up your webhooks with RafflePress. Let's just make sure that your project is saved here and we'll click on publish at the top. Now we have three different ways to do this, to use your actual giveaway that we just created. So you can use a WordPress block to import this into a post or a page in WordPress, or we can use a short code. Or the third way, which is the easiest, is the giveaway landing page. And this is the page that's already created. So we can click on this button to open this and preview it. And there you go. You could just simply take the URL of this page and you can share it on your social media, on your YouTube channel, wherever you wish and have people start to enter your contest and it'll start running and taking entries. And during this contest, they'll watch your videos, they'll visit a YouTube channel, which would be preferably yours, and join your email newsletter or any other actions that you wanted to have down here. Now for the WordPress block and the WordPress shortcode, these both work pretty much the same way. I'm just gonna copy the shortcode right here. And again, we're just gonna save one last time to make sure that this is in fact saved, just to be careful. And I'm gonna close out here the X at the top. Great, now on the left-hand side, we have posts and we have pages. Let's do posts and I'll go to all posts. And I just have a test post here for WordPress. It's the hello world. It doesn't look very good, but we'll use this as an example. It can be any post that you have. So to import this giveaway into a post, you can do a forward slash. We can type in short code. We can click this and we just paste that short code right here that we got from RafflePress. Now, if we update this and view the page, here we can see the very basic example. This is live on the website. And if I come down, you'll see the giveaway is actually embedded into a WordPress post. So you have control over where that is posted. Now, if we come back to the RafflePress admin here or for the WordPress admin, on the left-hand side, we have pages. We already did a post. Let's go to pages and all pages. And here I have a sample page. We can click on this page. And here we can try the actual block instead of the short code. So for example, if I want to put a giveaway right here, you make some room, put a forward slash, I'll start typing raffle press. We can click on this. You'll see a little raffle press block. We're going to select a giveaway and select YouTube giveaway. Again, this works the same way as the short code, except you don't have to remember or copy and paste that short code over. We're going to update this page and click on view page. Here we go. We can see the sample page and here's the giveaway that just loaded in right into the middle of the page, wherever we want to post that we have control over that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Check out these videos to learn more about RafflePress. Please leave a like on the video if it helped you. Leave a comment. We love hearing from you. I'll see you in the next video.